following four video segments are from a technology trip across Alaska, Anchorage to Valdez. The trip started in Anchorage with the Opasco Summer Conference. The theme was Forging a New Frontier. It ended up being an eye-opener as independent phone companies in Alaska have forged a new frontier of technology across the state. It seemed ironic. Here in this new frontier, they already have services that AT&T can only promise to offer in states like Wisconsin if they get favorable legislation. Hmm, small and local telephone companies are already offering these new services under current rules. Yet mega, almost monopolistic companies seem to need special help. Kind of makes you wonder. Here's an overview of that new frontier technology and services. I'm calling Ken Pyle from the Madnuska Glacier. Hey, Roger. Hello, Ken. You're you're on the microphone here at the Madnuska Glacier in Alaska. Yeah, from what I understand, the Madnuska Glacier is the largest uh, glacier accessible by car in Alaska. Is that correct? <laughs> you're cheating here on the internet. <laughs> I understand it's a beautiful valley glacier. It's 24 miles long and four miles uh, four miles wide. It descends 12,000 feet to the terminus. This guy is stealing all my thunder. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Here I call to demonstrate technology. I'm probably what uh, 70 miles from Palmer, close to 100 miles from Anchorage, out in the middle of what mountains am I in? Uh, Chigash. Did I say that right? Chigak, something like that. Yep. And they're the breathtaking Chigash. They are very breathtaking. I was uh, saying on my earlier take that... Cell phone, leave a message, please. <laughs> Record your message after the tone. What technology we have here today. I have brewed myself a cup of coffee from our motor home back there. Ah, and it tastes pretty good, nice and fresh. And of course, in the background here is the Madnuska Glacier. We're sitting right at the base of it. We actually have cell service on the glacier. How do you like that for technology? And just down the road they're delivering video, high-speed data, and voice over plain old copper wire. Well, with a little bit of treatment from something called DSL, I guess. Quite amazing, hey? That's Matt Nuska Telephone, the second largest cooperative in the United States. Is that correct? <laughs> Yeah, you're really cheating. You're on the internet or you're looking this up in a book. <laughs> no, that one I knew, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been Ken Pyle that I've been talking to here. I'm on the Butte, just outside of Palmer, and we're looking at the Knick Glacier in the background. And I'm out here with the uh, Simpsons. That's what's got to do with IP technology. Television service got delivered to them uh, when they first got here. It took two weeks uh, after it was broadcast. Today they're getting DSL or IP TV service from uh, MTA, uh, Matanuska Telephone Co Company. We decided to come out here to talk about IP TV instead of watching it on TV because this was pretty. I'm Jeff Lawn, I'm Systems Administrator for Copper Valley Internet. I'm here speaking with you today about our new wireless system. Uh, we've just introduced a state-of-the-art CDMA system to Alaska. It's probably the most state-of-the-art system in the state of Alaska at this point. And uh, my involvement has been working on the data portion, and that's getting the data services working on cell phones and data cards um, so that you can have that mobile web experience anywhere you are, you know, with, whether that be over a phone or plugging a card into your laptop. Uh, right now we have 1X RTT service, which gives you peak speeds of about 390K um, typically you see about half of that. And we are moving towards an EVDO, which is Evolution, Evolution Data Optimized Service, um, where peak speeds are more like 3 megabit by 1 megabit. So it's pretty exciting stuff. Um, we should have that going in the next couple of weeks here locally. And um, as we move on, we'll be um, setting up roaming agreements with um, providers in Alaska so that we can have that data service available statewide. And moving out after that, we will be setting up with Sprint in the U.S. So we'll have nationwide service. So not only will your uh, cell phone work for voice and voice and texting, things like that, but you'll also be able to take your laptop with you in a data card and get data anywhere you are. So this pretty well wraps up our technology trip across Alaska. We went to Valdez, caught a lot of fish, and learned about some very interesting 
wireless cell phone internet type of service from the Copper Valley Telephone Cooperative people. Uh, we've just introduced a state-of-the-art CDMA system to Alaska. Midway between there and Palmer Wasilla, we got on top of a glacier, the Matanuska Glacier, and were able to uh, get cell phone service. Then we also watched a bit of uh, IPTV over in Palmer uh, from a happy customer. So we've kind of covered the basis here, the voice video data side of it, but in a little bit different way since it was cell phone voice and uh, the wireless internet uh, was also using cell phones. And of course, we're in that last frontier, so I think, you know, the video over DSL kind of makes it uh, interesting. But here we are wrapping it up and I'm in a wilderness campground and I have Wi-Fi service. So I was doing my last emailing from this side here. And I got this little squirrel over on the side <laughs> coming after me. So you can truly tell I am in the wilderness. So this is Roger Bindle with my technology trip across uh, Alaska. And as you can see, technology has made its way through the last frontier or the ultimate frontier of Alaska. We'll see you back in the lower states. <laughs>